Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to today's webinar. My name is Scott Young, and I am the Manager of Products and Services here at Alloy Computer Products. So in today's webinar, we're going to focus on Yalink's latest Bluetooth range of headsets. Primarily, we'll be focusing on the BH72, the soon to be released BH76, and we'll also look at Yaling's latest USB headset, the UH38, which is a USB slash Bluetooth headset. So what we'll do today is I'll run through the presentation. If you guys do have any questions at all, please put your questions through the Q&A panel or the chat panel. And what we'll do is we'll come to them at the end of the um, presentation and then we can go through those questions um, then. All right, guys, let's kick things off. So initially what we'll do is we'll look at the usage scenario and feature highlights of the BH72 and 76, some usage scenarios, uh, or sorry, some usage um, diagrams of um, how to use the headset and look at the controls or functionality of the headset. We'll also look at the different versions that are available, what comes in the package of the headset. And we'll also a bit of, have a look at a bit of a feature comparison between Yaling models, but also we'll have a look at a comparison of some of the um, competitors out there on the market as well. And we'll do this for the 72 and 76, and we'll also do this for the UH38 as well. All right, so looking at the available headsets in the BH72 range first, which is what Yellink are um, looking at calling the, the entry level um, headsets. So we've got the BH72 Lite. So this headset is a um, is a standalone headset, headset does not support wireless charging. So the only charging method for the BH72 Lite is via a USB, USB cable. We then have the BH72, which does support wireless charging. And then we also have a purchasable, purchasable, purchasable option, I should say, sorry, um, with the BH72 and the wireless charging stand um, together. Then we move on to the premium level range of headsets, which is the BH76 and then the BH76 with the charging stand. Now the BH76 is not yet available, but will be released in the coming weeks into the market. All right, look at, let's look at some of the kind of scenarios of, of how, what, when and um, how we can use the headset. So as we know, hybrid working is a big thing these days. Everybody is working flexibly. They are working from home. They're working in the office. They're working wherever they can. So, you know, the, the Bluetooth headsets are, are a great headset for use when we're working in the office and connected to our desktop PCs, working from home when we're connected to either our mobile phone or our, our laptop at home on the go, being able to use the headset and our laptop together, whether we're in the car, whether we're in the airport, wherever we're, if we're in a cafe, is this headset is great to use in all use cases. And then we've also got that um, flexibility of being able to take calls on the mobile phone as well. So having that flexibility of a Bluetooth headset, being able to to connect Bluetooth to our notebook, to our mobile phone, to our PC with, with the supplied uh, little Bluetooth dongle. It really is a headset for all use cases. All right, let's look at, have a look at some of the highlighted features of the uh, BH72 and 76. So one of the great features um, is the ability to be able to hide the mic boom when we're not on a call, when we're using the headset for music or something like that, we're able to actually push the mic boom away and it hides inside the headset itself. And then it's easily able to be able to pull back out again when we do want to make a call. 
one great thing about this is also is that if you are on a call and you need to mute the call, it's just as simple as pushing that um, boom back into the headset and it will automatically mute your call as well. So a really great unique feature from Yealink in regards to the um, boom. All right, another great feature of the BH72 headset is a multifunctional wireless charging stand. So this wireless charging stand uses the same technology that we use to be able to charge our mobile phones, our smartwatches, anything that supports that wireless charging functionality. This headset stand is able to support these, these, um, these devices. So not only can we charge our headset from this stand, but once our headset is fully charged, we've got a nice little um, handle position where we can seat that headset when not in use. And then we can also charge our mobile phone at the same time on that charging pad. So what this is doing is, is decluttering our desktop. We don't have a charger for our mobile phone. We don't have cables connected to our headsets for charging. It's all done nice and neatly on this charging base. Okay, one of the great features of the BH72 is the battery life. Now I have used this headset for a week at a time without needing to charge the headset. It really does have a great battery life. So with the BH72, we have up to 35 hours of talk time. And with the BH76, we have 28 hours of talk time. So it really is great battery life. So we can use it pretty much for the whole week without needing to charge the battery. Okay, so these headsets also support what we call acoustic shield technology. Now, what this acoustic shield technology is going to do is it's going to eliminate background noises for the remote participants that you're, call, you're, you're talking with. So there's, there's a couple of, and a little bit of confusion in the market sometimes around acoustic shield technology, noise cancellation, and things like that. So when we're looking at, at, at you know, these types of features, we need to remember that acoustic shield technology is going to block out noise for the remote party at the other end. So if you're in, a, in a, an office space with a really noisy background, what this noise acoustic shield technology is going to do is it's going to eliminate that background noise for the remote parties. So it's not gonna, so you yourself wearing the headset, it's not going to eliminate that noise for yourself. It's going to eliminate the noise for the remote people you are talking with. Now, if we look at what we call the dynamic or intelligent active noise cancellation, this is where it differs. So this is only supported on the BH76 and not on the BH72. But what this is going to do is this is going to cancel out the noise for ourselves. So the person who's actually wearing the headset, they're the ones now that are going to, it's going to eliminate the noise for them in a noisy environment. So perfect example of this, you're on an airplane, you're watching a movie, you want to turn on the active noise cancellation because you don't want to hear the plane noise. So I hope that makes sense. That's the difference. So we've got that acoustic noise um, technology and we've also got a, um, active noise cancellation. So the active noise cancellation is for you, the person wearing the headset, it's going to eliminate that noise. The acoustic shield technology is going to eliminate the, your background noise, but for the remote person on that call. So that's a it's a it's a discussion that comes up all the time about um, headsets and and people are always asking about or oh, does it have active noise cancellation? You know, the, in a business sense, active noise cancellation is not also always a necessity. We're on a personal side and, and using it in aeroplanes and things like that. Yes, that's where active noise cancellation comes into play and that's when people need that functionality. 
But in a business environment, the acoustic shield technology is the primary feature that we're looking for because we don't want people at the far end hearing what is happening in the background around you. Like I said, if we're in a busy office space, that remote person you are talking to, they don't want to hear that. So that's what that acoustic shield technology is doing, it's eliminating that background noise for them. Okay, moving on with the high level, oh, sorry, hi-fi level audio codec for the BH76. So this is a high-end codec that Yalink are using in the BH76 premium headset. So it's gonna give uh, or deliver pure and delicate sounds. It's gonna um, provide less distortion and it really is gonna be great for that high quality music experience. Okay, another great feature of the Yelling headsets is the uh, software that's included for free with these devices. So we can manage these devices quite easily, whether it's connected via Bluetooth to a PC or via USB to a PC using the Yalink USB Connect software. So we can use this to manage our headset. But then we've also got an application for iOS and Android devices. So we've got the Yalink Connect app mobile piece of software, which we can also use to manage, um, to select different equalizer settings and things like that. So easily we can connect the um, Bluetooth headsets via Bluetooth to our mobile device, and we can use this software dependent on their environment on where we're using and, um, and wearing the headset. So if we're listening to music, we can change that, what, what Yelling call the moment um, functionality. And then what we can also do with this software is we can pre-configure pre our own equalizer settings as well. So we have custom equalizer settings, and we also have the ability to be able to create our own custom equalizer settings as well. All right, some more features of the BH72 and 76. It's a comfortable headset to wear. I wear this headset pretty much all day long. It's comfortable. It doesn't make your, your ears too hot. It doesn't feel like you've, you know, you've got a brick on your head weighing your neck down. It's actually a really light and easy to use um, and comfortable to wear headset. The physical noise reduction. So let's let's not talk about the actual, you know, some of the um, I suppose artificial intelligent features of the acoustic and noise acoustic shield technology and active noise cancellation, just the headset alone, based on the, on the design of the, of the ear pieces, will also reduce physical noise in your environment. Now, what we can also do is we can easily replace the ear pads as well. The headsets have a Type-C charging port, so it's easily connected, um, connectable to laptops and PCs. Um, and then we can also use this headset in um, via a USB cable as well. So not only with that light version, can we use the um, USB cable to charge the headset, but we can also use the headset via the cable and connect it to a PC as well, just in case that battery is flat. All right, so both of these headsets, the BH76 and the 72 have recently won awards as well. Um, so here's a couple of awards that they recently won for these two headsets. All right, let's dive a little bit deeper into the physical headset and some of the functionality and, and buttons and things that we have on these devices. All right, so for the Big H72 Lite, we have that USB charging capability. So it's the only way that we can charge that headset is via that USB cable. Now, when we move on to the, um, the standard versions and the, and the versions with the, with the wireless charging stand, we do have that wireless charging ability. So that headset will lie flat on the charging base and will wirelessly charge that headset. Now, if need be, the standard BH72 can also be charged via USB if we need to. 
So it's purchase, purchasable in a few different options, which we'll look at later. Now, some of the physical buttons on the headset. So obviously we've got the power button and the LED indicator. So if we actually power on, well, when we do power on the headset, um, it'll tell us exactly how many hours of talk time we have left. And if we want to turn off the headset, we hold the power button for two seconds and it'll then shut down that headset. Okay, so when we need to pair the devices um, to our mobile phone or to the BT51 that comes provided, and normally with the BT51 that comes provided, it will be um, paired automatically from the factory. But if we are you know, um, pairing it to a laptop, which has built-in Bluetooth or to, to a mobile phone, what we need to do is hold down the pairing button for three seconds and it'll go into pairing mode. Once we do that, we'll be able to find the headset on either our mobile phone or our desktop, and we'll be able to connect those two devices together. So like I was saying before, once in pairing mode, we'd use our mobile device, it'll, can, it'll um, find that headset because it's now broadcasting itself as being in pairing mode. Those two devices will talk to each other and connect and pair. Now, if you are using the um, headset with a PC and the BT dongle that you did get with the headset or you've, you've lost that BT dongle and got a new one, if it's not paired, what we need to use is the Young USB Connect software to pair those two devices together. And we need to make sure we're running 0 0.3, 4.4.0 or later of that Young USB Connect software. Okay, let's have a look at what comes inside the package. Some available um, accessories, and we'll also have a look at the different model types. So obviously in the package, we have that, the headset itself, we have a USB um, 2 cable, which is USB A to USB C. So USB C into the headset, USB A into our PC. We have the BT51-A or BT51-C dongle. So that's either a USB A or a USB C dongle. We have the storage bag and also the quick start guide. Now, depending on the model that we purchase, we may need to purchase additional accessories. So if we purchase the headset without the charging stand, we can purchase that charger, charging stand at a later time. We can also, like I said before, we can also purchase uh, replacement air cushions, and we can also, sorry, ear cushions, and we can also purchase um, the BT dongles as well, whether it's in USB-A or USB-C. All right, so this slide is showing us the available versions of headset that we can purchase. Now, looking at this slide, okay, yes, it looks like there's, you know, 30 or different um, SKUs available for the headsets, but it's actually quite simple. There's really only three different, different um, types. So it's really, it's, your, it's the bs 72 light, and then it's in either black, or gray color, and then either USB-A or USB-C. We then have the standard, sorry, back one, and it's either in Teams or UC version. We then have the standard BH72 that does support wireless charging, but doesn't come with the charging stand. Again, black, gray, USB-A or USB-C, and then either the Teams edition or the UC edition. We then also lastly have the BH72 that includes the charging stand. So again, black, gray, USB-A or USB-C, and then we've got that Teams edition or the UC edition. All right, now let's have a look at a bit of a bit of a comparison between the different um, versions of the Yaling headsets. I won't go through too much detail here, 
but you know one of the major different differentiators with the BH72 light is that support for wireless charging. Otherwise, it's basically the same functionality as the standard BH72. So with the BH, with the standard BH72, it does support wireless charging. It just doesn't come with the charging stand. We then have the BH72 that comes with the BH uh, the charging stand. And then moving on to the 76, the major different differentiators here is the amount of microphones. So with the, the BH76, we have four plus one microphones. The BH76 also supports that um, active noise cancellation as well. So they're, they're the primary differentiators between the BH76 and the BH72. All right, now we'll look at some of the comparisons of the competitors out there on the market. So the BH72 competes with the Evolve 60 or Evolve 265, the standard Evolve 65, the Poly Voyager 4300 and the Poly Voyager 4200. And as you can see from this slide, all of those different variations of headsets either come with or without um, charging docks. Okay, so some of the, um, in terms of the technical differentiators here, so looking at some of the competitors compared to the Yaling BH72 here, we look at the talk time. That battery in the BH72 is just fantastic. You know, a talk time about the 35 hours is just incredible. So compare, you know, the nearest competitor is 24 hours in the Poly Voyager 4300. So really there's nothing even close to the BH72. And then we've got that discrete hidden uh, microphone boom arm, which is, you know, unique to the Yaling BH72 and 76. We've got the newer version of, uh, of Bluetooth 5.1. And then we've also got that optional char wireless charging stand with the BH72s. All right, now we'll look at the BH76 as a comparison. So the BH76 itself um, compares to the Jabra Evolve 275, Evolve 75, the Poly Voyager Focus 2, and also the standard Poly Voyager Focus original one. So they're the main competitors in the market for the BH76. So again, looking at the details of um, some of the technical specs. So again, we've got that um, discrete boot arm, um, boom arm, I should say. Those microphone levels, um, the different levels of noise cancellation as well. So we can actually, we've got four different configurable levels of noise cancellation with the BH76. We've got that high fidelity um, codec, that ATPX codec. We've got the wireless charging support, which the other headsets um, don't have. And again, we're running that um, fairly recent version of Bluetooth, that 5.1. All right, so that's it for the BH72 and 76. We're now going to move on to the premium USB headset, the UH38. So again, we're gonna have a look at some of the um, usage scenarios and product highlights, um, the actual usage or like physical usage of the headset, what comes in the package and different versions that are available. And again, we'll have a look at a comparison. Okay, so this is the, a, a similar look to the BH72, but this is the corded version. So this is the USB version of that headset. So we've got a foldable um, microphone that um, will go up and down. Obviously, when we push that microphone up, it's going to mute our headset. We've got premium um, leather um, design. We've got metal support arm and shaft, so it's a sturdy headset. And we've also got leather earmuffs um, that can be replaced as well. And with this USB headset, we've also got a controller as well. So this is again available for Teams and UC. 
And we've also got that USB cable that can be used to plug the device into our PC. Okay, again, that different um, usage scenarios that can be used in the office on our PC. We can use it for remote work connected to our laptop or our PC. And with the versions, um, sorry, with the US 38, 38, we can also use it with our mobile devices as well. So we've got USB to our PC and Bluetooth to our mobile device. All right, so this is a, a new concept of, of headset that Yellink have released. It's a little bit different. So in terms of um, the controller and the models that do have a built-in battery, the built-in battery is actually in the controller itself. So we've got a cable that connects from the headset to the controller and, this, and all of the controls for our mute, our um, hang up, et cetera, volume up, volume down is all on our control pad. And then we have a USB connection from that control pad to our PC. So if we are, if we do have the version that has the built-in battery, we can unplug the controller from the USB cable that's connected to our PC and walk away with our headset still on and still in an active call. So we've got that two different connection types. We've got that Bluetooth to our mobile and USB connect to our PC. Okay, so with the, the stereo models of the UH38 is what includes the battery. So the mono versions do not include a battery, but the um, stereo versions do include a battery. So with this battery allows us obviously to disconnect that USB cable from the controller and walk away with the headset and still be on an active call. And there's a clip on the, on the, <coughs> excuse me, on the controller as well that we can use to clip to our pants or our pocket or our shirt, shirt pocket, for example. Okay, so some of the um, core features, we've got that noise reduction technology, um, which Yarlink have always been big on, you know, through their, throughout their SIP phones and Teams phones. They've also brought that technology to their headsets as well. The headsets as well also have dual microphones. So the one microphone is used for your voice, for your um, audio pickup. And a second microphone is used to eliminate that background noise. Okay, so it's a, on the UH38, it has a 35 millimeter speaker. So it's a great headset, clear, natural and rich audio. So again, we have that, uh, that flexibility to be able to use the headset for uh, making and receiving calls, but also listen to music while we're working on, on projects and things like that. Okay, so the headset itself also has a busy light. So this will automatically come on when, we, um, when we're on a call. Or what we can also do if we don't want to be disturbed is we can turn that busy light on manually and it'll allow us um, or allow people to think we're on a call. But what we can do is sit there and work in a way without being disturbed by other staff members. Now, as I said earlier on, so a couple of different methods for, for muting. So we can either mute the call from the control panel itself, or what we can do is quickly and easily lift up the boom arm, which is the mic boom arm on the headset, and it will automatically mute the headset as well. Okay, so the as with the BH7276s, we can also configure the US38 headset via Yalink's USB Connect software. So this will be installed on your PC. Once you plug your PC, your headset via USB into our PC, the software will automatically detect the headset and we can use this to upgrade firmware to um, also configure different audio parameters on the headset as well. All right, so let's look at the controller in a bit more detail. So on the controller itself, 
we have a few different button type button types. So obviously we've got our volume up, our volume down. We've got a mute button in the center. We've got our mobile um, talk or our Bluetooth, which is on and off button for Bluetooth on the left hand side. And then we've also got our PC talk button as well. Now, depending on the variation that you um, have uh, purchased, we're either going to have the Teams button or we're going to have the UC version, which has a voice assist button. So in detail, so for the Bluetooth button, if we hold that Bluetooth button down for three seconds, it's going to turn on Bluetooth. If we hold it down for five seconds, it's going to turn off Bluetooth. If we just press it once, it's going to answer a call on our mobile. Uh, the PC talk button, the same. Once we've got, if we have the headset connected via USB to our PC, we can answer our call from that PC button. We've got the volume up, volume down. Now with the Teams button, what we can do, if we hold that Teams button down for two seconds, it'll actually activate Cortana, which is built into Microsoft Teams. Or if we just give it a single press, it's gonna bring up that Teams application on your PC. So for those that aren't aware, every headset, desk phone, anything certified for Microsoft Teams needs, needs to have a Teams button on that device. And that's just stipulated by Microsoft. Now, if you um, have purchased a UC version, if we hold that um, UC button down for two seconds, it's gonna activate the voice assistant um, in the headset, headset. All right, looking at the contents of the UH38, so, so it's available in a couple of different um, uh, modes. So we have got the mono, this time with the US, um, the US, sorry, USB headset. And then we've also got the stereo or the dual headset available. It comes with a USB um, two cable, whether it's USB A to C or C to C, depending on the model that you buy. It comes with that carry bag and also a quick start guide. Now with these devices, there's only a few different models available. So again, we've got that Teams and UC variation available. This time we have the mono and the duo versions. And then again, we've got the mono and duo versions with USB-C. So the standard ones without the dash C are USB-A and dash C are the ones that come with the USB-C cable. Now, one thing to mention here, if you do want the model that supports the battery, you need to get the duo version. The mono versions do not have a built-in battery. All right, taking a bit of a look at the comparisons between some of the Yealink um, USB models. So I'm not gonna go through some of the older models or the lower end models, um, but Yealink have the UH34s, UH34 lights, both available mono dual, the UH36, which is a, a hugely popular model, again, available in mono and, dual, um, and duo or stereo. So these are all USB based headsets. So I won't go through all the comparison, comparisons here, but as you can see, there's um, you know, quite a few differences there for the UH38 model. Okay, now we'll have a look at some of the competitive um, comparisons here. So with the Yelling, um, the UH38, it compares with the Jabra Evolve 240 the Jabra Biz 2402, and also the Poly Blackwire C720, which is now end of life. Okay, so looking at some of the technical specs in terms of the differentiators between the Yalink and the competitors. So the headband itself is leather and sponge, um, with a sponge lining, so it's very comfortable on your head. Um, has that newer version of Bluetooth, Again, for those stereo versions or dual versions that has that built-in battery, uh, got up to seven hours of talk time. We've got that 360 degree busy light. And then we've also got that functionality to lift the mic boom to mute the headset as well.
Okay, guys, that's about it in regards to the presentation. Now, do we have any questions, guys? Let's quickly bring up the Q&A panel. If you do have any questions, please feel free to put them in the Q&A panel or into the, the comments box and um, I'll be happy to answer them. And just so you know, the webinar today was recorded. So this, um, the webinar will be of the recording and also the presentation will be available on the LO website later on this afternoon, or worst case, it'll be tomorrow. So if you do need to run through, or you do want a copy of the, of the presentation, it will be available from our website in the events and webinar section. Okay, guys, I'll just give it a couple more minutes to see if anybody has any questions. Okay, guys, just lastly, before I do finish off, if you are interested in testing any of these headsets, please do contact your LV account manager They'll be happy to arrange NFR products for you guys to test and trial. Um, yeah, it's all available um, via your LA account manager. Okay, guys, if there's no more questions, we'll finish off here. Thank you once again, everybody, for taking time out of your day to um, join us today for the webinar. Much appreciated. And we'll see you all again next time. Thank you.